Hi, everybody. Ann Trufant again and again and again. Uh, while we're talking about ways to pray, powerful tools to pray, I want to I want to talk about one, um, and that's praising before the breakthrough. I went on a mission trip to Brazil a number of years ago, and I was astounded that there were probably 8,000 people in this church that night, many of them, by the way, former Catholics, um, a huge proportion. There's a lot of um, occult stuff interwoven in some of the areas of Brazil in the church, and, and so many people have fled. It's very sad. Pray for the Church of Brazil because there's an army rising up there, too, where the Lord's reclaiming all for his, his Catholic Church in Brazil. At any rate, this night, there were probably 8,000 people in that church, and we did an hour of praise and worship before the first talk Nobody was praying over people. Nobody was laying hands on people. There was none of that. There was just praise and worship. People were coming with illnesses, in wheelchairs, with heartaches, all kinds of things. We literally saw hundreds of healings. I, I, I don't even know how many, but hundreds of healings that night before the first talk, before any prayer, just in the praise. I'm going to read you 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. This is actually 16 through 18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It doesn't say be thankful for all circumstances. I wrecked my car today. Thanks for that, God. I broke my ankle. Thanks for that, God. No. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. In all circumstances. Even if I have a diagnosis or I broke my ankle, or I wrecked my car, or my child is not walking with the Lord. Be thankful in that and begin to offer God the greatest gift you can give him, and that's confident faith. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that this, this child is not yet walking with you, but thank you, God, that nothing's impossible for you, and you will move in this because I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be that nagging woman banging on the door till she got what she wanted from her neighbor. I'm going to be the Canaanite woman who says, even the dogs get the crumbs, Lord. I'm going to be the person of confident faith to not give up. So we have to help each other do this because sometimes life is so tough. Situations are so hard. It's very difficult to be thankful in a situation. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. There was a story that I heard recently of an old man. He was in his 80s and he had terrible arthritis. He was just very crippled with this arthritis and in tremendous pain. And he, he saw a friend of his, and all of a sudden he's looking at a man who looks 10 years younger. He was fantastic. He didn't look like he was having all the same issues because of the arthritis. And he said, what happened to you? And he said, I totally changed the way I handled myself. I began to thank God, even in the midst of that, I just began to praise him and thank him because I read that the greatest gift I could give him is my confident trust and faith. And he said, within two days of praising him, just praising him and praising him, my symptoms began to disappear. It was astounding. That, my friends, is where we as believers need to, we need to practice and get ourselves there. We need to remind each other, rejoice in all circumstances. Again, not for them, in them, in the middle of it. Rejoice, because our God is still God, and he loves you, and he's good, and he doesn't give illnesses. He gives healing and wholeness and abundant life. John 10.10, 10, I came that you may have life and have it to the full. What's the first part of John 10.10? 10? that the, there is an enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't confuse the two. God is the one who comes to heal and make whole and give abundant life. That's the one we praise. That's the one we stand in the midst of even our struggles and praise him before we see the breakthrough. 
Let's see what he does with that. God bless and keep you. Amen.